Hello and what is up guys, Jack here from Ezekiel Gaming HD and this is the 8th episode of the Top 10 series. So feel free to check out the other episodes in the series playlist. Uh, this episode will be based on the Top 10 tallest players in FIFA 13 Ultimate Team and will include bronze, silver and gold players as well as every position including goalkeepers up to strikers. If you want me to do a Top 10 tallest centre-backs or Top 10 tallest strikers or maybe just gold players then let me know in the comment section below what you'd like me to do. So the way I will be going to order this top 10 tallest players is of course by height, but for the players that are equal in height, I will just place them in order by their overall rating, just so it doesn't cause any problems with other people watching this video and saying, you know, I should have done it by strength or balance or something next, I don't know what. But anyways, moving straight into the number 10 spot, we have a bronze goalkeeper from the Pro League called Le Maire, and he is 201 centimeters tall or 6 foot 7 tall. Apart from that, because he's a goalkeeper, there's not really much to say about him, and he's uh, bronze, so he's not amazing, but he's very tall indeed. Moving up to the ninth spot, we have a bronze striker from the K League. He also stands at 201 centimeters, six foot seven. He only has two star skill, but he has four star weak foot, which is very good. He also comes with 91 strength, but that seems to be the only stat above the 70s, so he's a pretty average player overall, apart from his strength. Moving up to the 8th spot is a more common player and he plays in the SPL for Celtic and his name is Forster. He again is 201cm, uh, 6 foot 7 tall and possibly is one of the best silver goalkeepers. Moving up to the number 7th spot is Peter Crouch at 6 foot 7 or 201cm tall again. He has some really good stats like 86 reactions, 82 attack and positioning and pretty good balanced shooting stats. He also comes with the finesse shot trait. Moving up to the number 6 spot is Endoy, a silver goalkeeper from the Bundesliga. He ups the height now to 202cm tall at 6 foot 8 uh, Again, he is a goalkeeper so there's not really much to say about that player. Now moving into the number 5 spot, standing at 202cm, 6 foot 8 is someone I'd really like to try out on Ultimate Team and could possibly build a team around because I think he is a beast. His name is May Hofer, I probably said that wrong, but he is a striker from the uh, Air Bundesliga and has some real good stats like 91 strength, 87 aggression, 81 heading and 75 finishing. He also has a ton of traits such as the power header, argues with officials, leader and dives into tackles traits. So a great looking player on this card and stats, let's see how he performs in an actual game I'd like to know. Moving up to the number 4 spot is Nikola Zigic again. 202 centimeters, 6 foot 8 tall. He has 86 strength, 76 attacking, positioning, and 75 heading. He also has to argue with officials' trait. Now, moving into the number 3 spot is a silver goalkeeper from the Barclays Premier League. It is Pantilemon, and probably the best or the most expensive player in this top 10. Uh, he stands at 203 centimeters, 6 foot 8 tall, and has the goalkeeper puncher trait, which I can only guess means. He likes to knock out other goalkeepers, but no, seriously, I think it just means that he has a bigger punch when he does punch the ball out, or it's just he's more likely to do it. Now moving into the second spot is a well-known tall player this year, standing at 203cm, 6'8", and it is Lassina Traore. He has fairly good speed combined with 94 strength and other great shooting stats, which makes him a very good striker for an Ivorian or a Russian League team. He also has 3-star skill, 4-star weak foot, as well as a selfish trait. Moving into the number 1 spot is the tallest player on FIFA 13 Ultimate Team by far, and it is Van Holt, a silver goalkeeper from the Pro League, and he stands at 208cm tall, 6 foot 10, and not to mention he has 93 strength. Not that it makes a difference because he is a goalkeeper, he won't be able to use that strength a lot, but apart from that, he doesn't look too bad, I think his height will help him a lot, save a lot more goals than you'd expect. But apart from that, he's just a uh, just an average goalkeeper. Okay, that's the end of the top 10. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please remember to leave a comment saying which stat or attribute you'd like me to do next. And also possibly let me know how you think I should do it. Because I was thinking about doing a top 10 passes, but I'm not sure how to put them in order. If some of them have equal stats like short passing or long passing, how would I next go about their stats? But as I said, it's the end of the video, so if you can remember to leave me a like, that would be fantastic. And until next time, I will catch you later. Bye. 1200 coins, which for an 80 plus silver Brazilian left pack is very good. He also has 3 star skill and 2 star weak foot, as well as good balance and agility. He does have the avoid weak foot trait, which isn't a bad thing at all.
Now moving over to the right centre mid is Gonzalez, who again is another highly rated playmaker for very cheap at 750 coins. Gonzalez has 3-star skill and 4-star weak foot combined with lethal passing and a very good...